lots of people are getting in touch with me saying, what's this Australian type deal then? It, I, I'm sure you're as irritated as I am by the fact that they keep referring to this. It's actually World Trade Organization terms. That's the proper phrase, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's absolutely right, Ian. It's it's, uh, it's enjoyed a rebrand this year, and we've stopped talking about WTO uh, rules or a no-deal scenario, and it's been misleadingly described as an Australian-type deal, when, of course, it wouldn't be a deal uh, at all. I think it's just genuinely shocking at this stage of negotiations that a no-deal scenario is being con contemplated from the 1st of January, as you've just heard uh, from the representative logistics UK businesses, aren't ready for, for that, especially in the middle of the covid pandemic and struggling with enormous losses to our gdp this year that we're still yet to recover um it is as boris johnson himself said earlier this year a complete failure of statecraft if that is genuinely going to be the outcome of these negotiations and what we're talking about in terms of the outstanding issues are really you know i appreciate and accept they're not insignificant but they're really not insurmountable and we just need to see some compromise from both sides in order to get this over the line but, but and avoid what, a really disastrous scenario one of the big problems seems to be uh, according to boris johnson that the eu put lots of new things on the table last week and up until then it's all been going okay and they've they've put regulatory alignment back on the table with threats of unilateral action if britain doesn't accept that well, well no prime minister could accept that could they well it's very difficult to say because we're obviously hearing competing um lines and sources from it, hasn't, the it hasn't been denied by the eu well, Boris Johnson himself in the political declaration last year made a robust commitment to the level playing field. And, you know, the, these, these regulations are environmental and labour um, regulations that are the bare minimum. And in fact, the vast majority uh, of our regulations in the UK go beyond the EU. So the idea that we would want to weaken those regulations and, and risk uh, the entire free trade agreement on that basis is, I think, completely absurd.